you very much. Dear colleagues, so it's a pleasure to talk about the first in human trial concerning this uh, intraluminal flexible sheath for the protection of low anastomosis. As disclosures, I was an investigator in this trial and I also am a member of the advisory board of Safe Hill. So you all know that after performing an anterior resection, you have to protect the anastomosis with a stoma uh, because we still have a, a high rate of leakage, uh, around 15 to 16 percent. And the stoma is aimed to reduce the grade and the severity of the uh, leakage. But this stoma is as associated with problem, poor quality of life, dehydration, readmission. And even after the closure, uh, the literature reports some complication with the uh, leakage of the ileo ileal anastomosis, wound hernia, and so on. So the idea was to try to select patients that don't require a stoma, but while diverting feces and protecting the anastomosis for uh, two weeks. So this is the idea of the colovac, which is a classical colonic stent with a sheath of plastic that is placed above the, anast the anastomosis. And to reduce the risk of migration, uh, we had a vacuum system uh, connected to a classical redon bottle to uh, fix the stent in the colonic mucosa. So the aim of this study... So the aim of this study was to evaluate the safety and the efficacy of this Colovac device for low anastomosis and also looking at the morbidity, the rate of leakage, and the uh, feasibility of the whole strategy. So the method, it was a prospective study conducted in three European centers, two in France and one in Belgium. We included 15 patients with a rectal cancer that required entire resection. They all signed an infirm consent, and they were follow-up for three months. So the procedure, the surgical procedure, was identical with anterior resection and creation of the anastomosis. And after creation of the anastomosis, the uh, colovac was inserted transanally with the device to uh, deploy the stent in the descending colon. It was then connected to a uh, redon bottle to create the vacuum. And two weeks after, the stent was removed endoscopically. And the strategy was to uh, select patient, and if there was no sign of leakage, patients were discharged one day after removal of the colovac at day 14. And of course, if they had leakage during the follow-up, they were converted to a stoma and returned to the standard of care of patients with rectal cancer. So you can see the demographics of the patient, which, which were really classical, two-thirds of male patients with a majority of T3, T4 tumor, and half of the patient, 53, had neoadjuvant radio chemotherapy before the uh, procedure. The jury was always conducted through a laparoscopic a robotic approach, uh, and the anastomosis were mainly coloanal, stapled, side-to-end anastomosis. We almost always put a pelvic drain below the, uh, just uh, below the anastomosis, and two patients had associated procedure to treat a synchronous liver metastasis. Concerning the placement of the uh, colovac, it took a mean of seven minutes. You can see here on the video the uh, <laughs> device that goes into the uh, colonic, uh, the descending colon, and the stain which is going to be uh, deployed just below the uh, splenic flexure. It was considered very easy or easy by the three surgeons in 93% of cases, and the uh, implantation site was reached in all uh, patients. Concerning the tolerance of the patient for the 14 days with a plastical sheath uh, through the anus, it was uh, pretty good accepted. You see uh, almost 100 of patients with grade 1 and 2, and also the drain through the anus were pretty well tolerated. Concerning the removal of the stent, it was performed endoscopically. In all patients, as you can see here, the colon above the stent was completely clear of feces, and it took a mean of 10 minutes of, for the endoscopist to remove uh, the stent, and it was also considered as very easy or easy. The two difficult cases were 
the first case in two centers, showing that there is a really small learning curve. Concerning the mucosal appearance uh, of the stent, we saw <coughs> inflammatory and some bleeding lesion at the anchoring site, but above the anchoring site, and especially at the anastomotic level, it was all the time almost uh, a normal mucosa. Concerning the post-operative course, four patients had uh, an anastomotic leakage or at least a pelvic abscess associated in three cases with a, a device migration, and they were converted to uh, have a classical stoma. For the patient with no complication and a systematic CT scan control at day 13, uh, as you can see, the uh, colovac was removed. And overall, including one patient who had post-operative uh, ascites due to uh, post-operative hepatic efficiency after right hepatectomy, um, two-thirds of patients were uh, avoided the diverting stoma for their low anastomosis. During the three months follow-up, we observed three late uh, pelvic collection that were treated only by antibiotics. So if you look at the uh, big figure, Two-thirds of patients avoid the stoma, and for the, fifth, for the five patients who had a stoma because of a leakage, at six months overall, already uh, four of them, so 80%, had a stoma reversal. And those numbers compare favorably with the uh, data of the literature where the rate of definitive stoma is considered to be 20% in all the paper, but in our group of patients, two-thirds never had a stoma. So as a conclusion, this uh, first uh, limited pilot study of 15 patients showed that the Colovac provides a local, temporary, non-invasive protection for low anastomosis that should normally have a stoma. It avoids stoma for two-thirds of the patient. It was well tolerated. Placement and removal was easy without any complication, and especially on the anastomosis, with a limited learning curve. For patients with an anastomotic leakage, stoma creation was always planned not in an emergency setting, and 80% of the stoma uh, were closed without any redo surgery. We, of course, need a larger randomized control study that will be started probably next year in Europe and the US to confirm those results. Thank you very much for your attention.